Systems Wiki collaborate connections. Connections are used to indicate that there's a relationship between two of the elements within the relationship model. There are two ways that you can create connections. You can come down here and you can say connection, or you can use C, which is a shortcut. Um, so I guess there's three ways. If you click add connection, it asks you for the starting label and the ending label. If I go ahead and say C, it knows all of the elements that exist, so it will pop you a list. If I said T, well, then it's it's other this a couple of these are actually over in the trash at the moment. But let me go ahead and go from comments to to another, and then I hit enter, and it goes ahead and it creates that connection. I could also simply hit the C key, which would bring up the same definition. If I already have an element selected, and I go down here and say add connection, it assumes that I want to make a connection from the selected element to something else. So if I say C for comments and hit enter, it will create one going, oops, sorry, going back the other way. Now, Within the, the Systems Wiki project context, we use connections to be either adds to, same, or subtracts from opposite. And once you select a connection, you can come over here and define the type of it. The adds to, same are blue, and the subtracts from opposite are dashed red lines, so they're, it's real evident just from looking at it to determine what the relationship was defined to be. Now, the, the way that you determine what the relationship is, whether it's adds to same or subtracts from opposite, is to ask yourself, if this element increases, does this element increase or decrease? If it increases, they're both changing in the same direction, so it's same and you make it same. If this increases and this decrease, decreases, then it's opposite and you make it the subtracts from relationship. Now, the, the definition for connections are overloaded, which tends to make it somewhat confusing. And the reason the definition is overloaded is because it has to do with the nature of the relationship, what, what's being related to. Because there are different kinds of elements. There are those elements which are stocks, those things which uh, represent an accumulation of something. And then there are constants or variables. If in the context of a savings account, Principal interacts with interest with interest rate to create interest, but interest itself doesn't accumulate. It's principal that accumulates. So in this context, if principal increases, interest would increase. Though once interest is created, it actually adds to the principal. As I said, interest doesn't accumulate, but principal does. And that's why on this particular um, label or particular set of relationships, this one is labeled as same, and this one is labeled as adds to. Now, how you go ahead and label uh, connections, the, the default label for a connection is source destination. Notice this says this is element to another element. If you click on that, you can put a label on it, whatever you want that label to be, and it will simply affix the label and it will change the way that that's defined. If you come back in later and click this little red X, it will delete, not delete the connection, but it will delete the label that you affixed to the connection. Connections are like the other entities within the Kumu project context in that it has a label, a type, a description, and as I continue to say, put descriptions on connections so that other people have a sense of what they are meant to be. And currently we are toying with the idea of 
actually assigning a strength to connections in this project that we're working on, you notice that the, the blue connections are at different widths because some of them are, are strong, medium, and weak. And we're doing that using tags so that for this connection, if you look, it's got a tag on it of weak. If you look at this, it has a tag on it of strong. We're likely to alter the way that we identify that in the, in the future, but at the moment we're using tags as either strong, medium, or weak to give us a, a differentiation in the extent or the, that we believe that that connection has an influence between, between two variables. So, and you can delete connections. If you select a connection and, and hit the little trash can down here or hit the delete key, it'll come up and ask you to confirm that you want to delete it. But then notice down here, it will say you deleted comments to, from, and give you an option to undo it if you like. And there are multiple levels of undo. If you happen to do this, this, and this is true with, with elements and connections and loops that you can go ahead and undo as far back as you want to within the current context. That is until you actually exit the project and it then saves all of the changes that you made. Once you go back into the project, you can't do undos from your previous session. So within the current session, you can do undos. Um, and I think that's probably the extent of comments about elements at the moment. Um, I'll talk about loops shortly. Take care. Bye.